Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about how to win games at around rank 1200 and above. 1200 to 1400 this video we're going to be talking about. So, I think I made a conscious change in my chess game to just try not to hang pieces and instead lose on time rather than blunder pieces and just uh, go into games thinking, I don't care if I lose, I just don't want to blunder a piece. Or I don't want to do a one move blunder. So I'm going to try and make that the goal of this game, this video. So let's play the Sicilian. So at this level, people are starting to play some reasonable openings. Maybe know the first five or six moves, I'd say. And um, and end games as well. People know the basic checkmates of king and rook, king and queen. So if you can brush up and get a, a good end game knowledge or a, a good open knowledge as well, I think you can soon surpass these ranks. Uh, so I like this as an emergency move just to cover up, but I think better is to just get a knight out. So they often try and apply pressure here, you just cover up. So here I normally play here, just adds another defender. Uh, yeah, it's only a five minute game, so let's just not reinvent the wheel too much. Stick with what you know. Focus on not blundering. Maybe I can get a nice informative game. So now this, which just seals off any attack. Sometimes in this Sicilian position, you can entice the opponent to overextend because they think they've got a big attack against your king so if i castle now this bishop could be weak so i'm just going to play this yeah i thought that was coming but doesn't that just allow me to sort out my pawn structure i think so So if I trade queens, then he just gets a isolated pawn in the center. Okay. Now this pawn is undefended, so if I push it, then I get an isolated pawn in the center as well. So maybe I defend it and try and... I don't know. Seems easy just to push it. So this guy is just loving trades. So maybe I can disrupt that, that thought pattern. You can come here, but it doesn't attack anything. Oh, I guess it double attacks this pawn. But Uh, okay, so let's castle finally. Maybe a bit slow to castle there, guys. But I was trying to be aware of his threats. Uh, so he's attacking this pawn. So let's go after... So I can go here, go after this pawn, but then it drops this pawn. So let's not blunder anything. Let's just play solid. So I've used a bit of time here talking, so I'm going to speed up a little bit. Uh, I mean, this looks quite nice. Just being aware of any forks. You can hit this and this. But I'm not too bothered. I can take with the pawn. Uh, so now this pawn and bishop are protecting each other. Maybe I, I, mean, I could go here, stop any fork ideas, and contend the the open C file. Pre-move that trade. So this is a nice even position. Hopefully just demonstrate some solid play. 
Okay, so he wants this this knight here to attack the bishop. I'm actually fine with that. Or is there anything better? Could I go? No. Just thinking. No, let's let him do this. I actually want him to take my bishop. I think it's a bit stagnant on that current square. Just making sure he's not got any fox. So I like this. It gives me another pawn in the center. Also now the queens have come off the board. I'm I'm excited about getting the king out. You know. Uh, So I think this trade is good for me. My rook's going to be much more active than his. Yeah, luckily I've got this move. But then he pushes the pawn. Hmm. That's fine though, because if he pushes the pawn, I take with check. It's very natural as well. Okay, so I've got this check. Uh, I'm in a bit of a bind here, guys, not gonna lie. Just throwing, just throwing this check, try and do something. Got this fork here. Also protected the bishop, which looks nice. That looks to clarify the position. Yeah. So I did get in a bit of trouble here. This pin on my rook. Okay. Doesn't doesn't that just lose a piece? Also this next. Okay, let's grab that rook. I don't think he should have done that. Because uh, now things are very simple for me. I'm just going to push this pawn. Yeah. So let's, let's see if I blundered there. Yeah, I think towards the end there, that pin was not good for me. Let's share this tab. But I think apart from that, I was just trying to demonstrate. And I know it can be a bit boring, you know, it's not like gambits and giving away giving away material and things like that. But I think for a beginner, there's a lot to be said for just trying to play as solid as you can. Now, it might be easier said than done, or it seems obvious, but I said the queen takes was a blunder. Or an inaccuracy. And he, uh, he was slightly more active than me for, for a little bit. Yeah, and I noticed this in the game. This this pin was a good move. And it was, yeah, it was luckily I had the, I had the resources to get out of it. So I had that check leading to this pin. This uh, fork, sorry. Which just won a piece and then. Yeah, things fell apart for white. I hope that was instructive, guys. Uh, so, 1,200, cut out your blunders, or take a bit more time in your games. Even play some longer time controls. And if you don't do one move hanging pieces, I think you'll honestly win 90% of games at this level. Uh, as long as you have some decent opening foundations, learn a couple of openings for white, a couple for black, or even just one for white, one for black, and have some... Uh, end game knowledge of how to make your opponents uh, 